everyone. I'm here to show you what my curriculum picks are for my first grader this year. Um, I have a video for my first, fourth grader and also a few things that we're doing together in another video, but um, this video is just for my first grader. So first off, we are trying Lightning Literature Grade 1 this year. This is Literature and Composition. It covers um, grammar and literature and um, there's a composition component to this as well. This is the teacher's guide here. Um, the student workbook, I've kind of torn it apart already, so you can kind of see that this is what it looks like. My original plan was to tear these out and put them in a three-ring binder, like in some chunks at a time, but ours was printed kind of wonky, and where the perforated edges, the it's like partway through the hole, so... Anyway, just been more work. I had to cut them down and I bound them and put them in here. So I just put the first 12 weeks in here and when we're done with this, I'll take the next um, 12 out and bind it. I'll just move this cover to it. But um, basically every week you're working through a new um, book, a new picture book. And then all of the activities for that week are kind of based around that book. So those are all the books. And let's see, also as part of that, there was like this little kind of dictionary that they do. So I went ahead and put that in this folder and this is something we're gonna use for his first um, writing assignment. So I went ahead and put that in there. And then they also need like a composition book. So I went ahead and got this one from Lakeshore. I like that there's the picture up here, but then the back page is full lines. Um, there wasn't enough in one of these, I don't think to get through the whole year so I t and I wanted it all in one book so I bought two and I took the spirals out and then I put two together and rebound it and made that so extra I know um so anyway that is that for handwriting he has um some president copy work we're going to be doing as part of handwriting that both my kids are going to be doing that's in the other video but then he also have the has the Zaner Blozer handwriting for grade one we use this for kindergarten I used it for my daughter as well. We like it, so we'll do that. He also has some Explode the Code to work through. He'll probably just do a page or two, probably just one page front and back a day. I have two and three. One is, um, he's beyond one, so we went ahead and gotten two and three. He is also going to be doing Building Spelling Skills by Evan Moore. And then we have Leap Into Reading Level 2. I just have all the activities ready to go in there. And then this is the teacher's manual. And I have um, the books as well. This and the books I had left over from my daughter, we went ahead and purchased um, the activity book. Um, new, obviously. Um, all right, so let me put this away and grab some more okay. stuff. For social studies, for my first grader, we are doing, um, I think they're by Teacher Created Materials. And they have a whole, um, like, social studies set. We purchased most of these individually used off of eBay um, or Amazon. There's 16, like, regular books and then two that are kind of like biographies. So what I did with these, I'm missing one. I need to find it hopefully soon. But um, what I did with these was, oh, this is the one I'm missing. It's called Getting Around Town. I went on to Teachers Pay Teachers and found a printable pack that kind of went along with it, followed it pretty closely like the topics. That's what you see kind of shoved into each of these books. They are notebooking pages that we will do basically as we read the book. These are the two biographies, um, but they're pretty simple. It's kind of what they look like inside. So we will read them. And then he will do like the notebooking, oops, the notebooking pages that go with it. So I think that the, the notebooking page pack that I bought from Teachers Pay Teachers, let me see if I can find out who did that. Oh, they don't say. Let me see if it's on the cover of the notebook. 
it also doesn't say. All right, well, I will find it and link it down below. But anyway, I just, um, this was the cover they gave you. He colored it and we just put it on a composition book and he will do his um, notebooking in there. So that is what we have for social studies. He also has some geography that he will be doing with his sister. I talked about in the, that in the other video. Um, and the getting around school and getting around um, town talk a lot about maps and things like that. So we have this, um, this is a book I did with Ava, but I copied the pages when I did it with her. So we still have it. So we will do that with him when we read through those books. So that is social studies. All right, for math, we are doing primary mathematics. This is like the brand new version. It's 2022, I believe it's called. And we are starting with 1A. And I I only purchased 1A because I want to make sure we like it. My old kind of train of thought was let's just buy the whole set. But I've learned now from experience that I should make sure this works before we purchase 1B. I'm excited about it. I think it looks really good. I like the whole kind of Singapore math concept, which is what this is based on. Um, and I think what's new about this updated version is that, or one of the things that's new besides the illustrations are new and much more modern, but um, instead of just the educator's guide, which is more written for a classroom teacher, there's the home instructor's guide. Um, and I can do a separate video on these. If you would like, just let me know. Um, anyway, I was hesitant because he's very good at math and he's a little bit ahead in math that this was going to, like, maybe I should start with 1B. But I would say probably about at least half to two thirds of this he already knows. But that last third is stuff um, that we haven't talked about before. And so I decided it was just better to um, go ahead and get this one and have some repeat of stuff. Hopefully, sometimes he gets a little irritated when he knows stuff really well and it's super easy. Um, but like this kind of stuff when you're subtracting, we haven't done that yet. So anyway, some of it's going to be repetitive and that's okay. Um, we will just get through it. But um, And then if this goes well, we'll go ahead and purchase 1B. But that's what he's doing for math. Okay, if you watched my fourth graders video, you saw this book in there as well. Um, so I got one for him as well. This is not something, this is like extra. It may be a Friday thing if we have um, time to do it. Great. If not, that's okay too. Um, but we have that. He also has a, a growth mindset journal. Same as my fourth grader, except his is for grades one to two. This came from Lakeshore Learning, and this is what it looks like. There's just one little bit they do each day of the week. We don't tend to do well with things that you have to do every single day of the week, so we'll see how this works for us, um, but I wanted to try it. So he has that. For art, we have the grade one, Harcourt Art Everywhere. And just like with my daughters, my plan is to kind of have it be open and go, to not overthink it. We will... Um, let me get to the start of a unit here. We will um, read the lesson and we will do the project. And that's it. And then the next week we'll do the next lesson and do the project. Um, I'm trying not to overcomplicate things this year, which is one of my faults. So for health, he, we also got him the first grade, uh, Harcourt Health and Fitness. This is just something he and I are going to read through together. I'm doing it just to cover my basis. Um, and I think he'll actually enjoy. He likes health kinds of things. He likes the human body. He likes all that kind of stuff. So we will read through it. And I think he will enjoy it. All right. And I think lastly, we have science for him. This was a whole, a whole issue as well. So like my daughters, I had planned on doing the core knowledge and the skill sharpeners and just kind of mushing everything together. But again, they didn't quite match up the way I wanted them to. So we are sticking with the core knowledge books. These are for first grade. We have human body systems, sun, moon, and stars, simple machines, exploring light and sound, and plant and animal survival. Some of these topics are in the grade one, Evan Moore, science, skill sharpeners. Um, and some of them even cover the same things that are in here. But most of them, while the topic's the same, the the details that are covered inside are not quite the same. So um, 
at any rate, what I ended up doing was I found um, a printable pack on Teachers Pay Teachers from the Science Demo Guide. And it's um, my first grade science notebook. This was the cover that came with it. And then I just, um, there's notebooking printables that go with it. There's little experiments or activities um, that you do. So this covered most of the topics, but not all of them. Let's see. I think for that one, that one, and that one. And then the other two, I found some other printables on Teachers Pay Teachers. And then obviously we will have library books and other activities. Um, but that is what he is doing for science. And then again, like my fourth grader, I have a stack of random workbooks and, um, oops, not that one. A lot of Evan Moore stuff. And these are things that on Friday he can work on if we're not going to be, um, oh, I forgot I'm in a separate video. So I said this in my fourth graders. Um, the plan is to do sit down school four days a week. And then the fifth day, if we have things to sit down and do, that's great. But a lot of times we have errands that we need to run or we might take a field trip that day or I may have things I need to do that day so the idea is that we have all these just different little kind of workbooks things they can do somewhat independently um, that I would pick a few of these and put them in a pouch for them and that might be um, what they do on, on those days I'm not worried like um, if we finish these cover to cover they're just things that support things they're already doing or they're just fun things so that is everything he has. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm sorry this video is kind of all over the place. I am a little bit out of practice. So let me know if you have questions or if you want to see more of something.